I'm having to use my super duper power pack that Georgia got me for Christmas. See, I've got that, the energizer. So I can record this bit. This is for David Bowie, this bit, anyway. I've done I had a lovely walk. It's probably about the tenth video. It might not be the tenth, but I come across back across cow fields, which no cows at the moment because it's not the time of the cow. But I'm heading now back to Draycott Slates. But I've been thinking about David Bowie and I've been singing some of his songs like Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi. Because he does lots of words with it. He tells like a story, you know, about this person who thinks they've been abandoned, sort of thing, you know. Um, and I was thinking of how much. His passing is what it's done to me, really. I mean, I'm very surprised how much it's affected me. Um, but I feel he was part of the furniture in a way. I took him for granted, like you do with people. Even though he wasn't personally connected, he was in a way. He was part of the culture I grew up in. And um, sometimes I think, oh, I shouldn't watch the videos for a while. Don't look at the pictures, you know, like, you know. And then I think, yeah, but. You know, I do feel a bit sad by it. Quite sad, really, actually. Um, I don't know, but I, he, he, he would have been a great big brother to me. Just like John Lennon, I've seen them like that, you know. I wouldn't have been any good to him as a lover. He went for like really pretty good girls, you know, sort of thing. Um, intelligent people and whatever. I'm just an ordinary country bumpkin. <laughs> but you might have thought, you never know, you might have seen some of my videos that I've done on YouTube. You never know, do you? Because he used to like Coronation Street, and I, he probably watched these senders. But I know he liked Coronation Street, apparently. That's probably because of his northern roots. But um, this is... I have been thinking about him today, as I think about my family as well. No one's left out. I do think about them all. But I'm not a magician, I'm not a genie. I can't make things right all the time for them. That's the problem when you're a mum. You have to always be fit, you can't be ill. Especially when they're young, so then it carries on. You know, the culture of being a mother, the good girl, the good wife, the good granny. It goes on and on. But, um... I cannot be me either, whoever I am. I just like being out doing this. I've met a kindred spirit earlier. A couple of them, they're doing their own thing. But we stop and chat. We've bumped into each other a few times. Um, one girl, she does go out with a group. She has got ramblers that she goes out with. Um, but she likes it on her own as well. She does a lot on her own. I mean, if I, were, if I, if I was a bit fitter, I might consider joining a group. I think I would have done if it hadn't been for the breathing problems, um, which have improved, but then I've hurt my ribs from them falling over. But I've just taken two paracetamol to numb it a bit for the rest of the walk. But you can feel it when you breathe in. Oh, feels like you've been kicked in the ribs. My whole weight landed on my rib cage. That was a week ago. Yeah, it was about a week ago. It was the just prior to the the, the, the uh, prior to a big walk I went on. I didn't actually feel it on the big walk. Anyway, back to David Bowie. Yeah, I would have loved him. I see him like that as a friend or a big brother. Um, that was he was five years older than me. He's too young to have died, really. I mean, I know I'm getting on a bit, but I can't believe he's gone. 
I can't believe it. I don't like it either that he's gone. There's a bit more of you dies for your own generation. And these people keep all going. There's been loads of them. Actresses, comedians, musicians, composers, writers. They've all loads and loads. I've never noticed it so much. Anyway. We've still got this. This has been here for bloody ancient times. My ancestors would have been here. There would have been somebody, tribes. Yeah, the Anglo-Saxons or before them. The Iron Age people. Yeah. Oh, what would have happened? I love this though. It looks it's a bit nippy in the wind. We don't need a big coat on though. You just have to keep moving. I've got a hat, scarf and gloves. Um, the hard bit has been done mainly. There is one hill I've got to do and I've got to negotiate some cows. Um, the long horned hairy ones that seem quite placid but you never know they might just pick up on me. There's my um, wireless station right over there. I can't be bothered to zoom in. Um, that seemed a long way off earlier when I was right, 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 right over there. I've walked miles, you know, and, and climbed big hills up from um, Westbury Submendip. Yes. Let's just put the camera down a minute while I get over. It's got its charger. my energizer and just plug it in and I've also got another camera in my pocket I you have to keep well you can just charge it up with this and leave it in your bag I think otherwise you've got to actually carry the charger with your camera it's a bit cumbersome I expect there's a way of doing it. I expect there's a way of doing it. Right, across another field. This will all be... This particular field didn't have cows in it last time. Um, I think that one was okay. It's when I got further over. The next field after this one did have cows in it. I think I can see a couple of sheep at the moment. But of course, this was videoed last week. Videoed both ways. Someone's lost their water, look. I miss that. I've been on the prairie here. It might be really awful to listen to as well because um, there's a wind.